Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. I would like um, in a few minutes just uh, say, pass a message from my good friend Haider Freha, the director of the Technology for the Development in UN Esqua, and my other friend, Mr. Ayman Sherbini, who is the senior manager and head of the section in charge of policies, ICT policies. The actual text is being read in Arabic, but I'll give you an English um, review of this text. Well, uh, lady, that's uh, Mr. Sherbini speaking, I'm quoting. Um, ladies and gentlemen, at this conclusion session of today of this very important conference, I'm very glad and honored to address you. I wish I was able to join you, but circumstances were not possible. But we all at ESQUA uh, support that. Let me first express ESQUA's deep appreciation and thanks to His Highness uh, Prince uh, uh, and Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, who really, without his vision and uh, generous uh, patronage of this conference and the strategy, we were able to be here together. And uh, we are grateful also that Mr. Sherbin is expressing his appreciation to the organizers and to the review committee headed by Mr. Kirby and the uh, colleagues who worked on this. We believe that this is a very important, very important step forward for the digital economy strategy. Uh, we at ESQUA, we have been able for the past three, four years to work very closely uh, on issues relating to this and similar to this. So we believe that the, this strategy is, is very much needed. It will complement and uh, we will be able to team up together to fulfill uh, such a global view, especially there are four flagship projects that I, my team and I have been working on. First one is the Arab Digital Agenda, which will be launched in uh, next February at the Government Summit in Dubai. There's also the ISDHAR, which is an acronym for the Information Society and the Digital, uh, digital, uh, digital Economy, actually. So we are combining those two in a very special way because we believe this is the next step after the famous Information Society step forward. And the third one is the, we have been also developing an Arab Digital Development Report and uh, that report is extensive in a sense. It provides a review, an annual review, of the status of technology and uh, digital societies all over, the, uh, all over the Arab countries. And uh, that includes the internet usage and the content and so many things. Uh, of course, the fourth one and a very important one is the uh, Internet Governance, Arab Internet Governance Forum. We have been highly working on this and We'll be happy to have the fourth major one next June. By the way, I am uh, officially inviting you to join us at two very important global conferences that we are holding. One is next March, which we will launch the Arab Digital Agenda as well and talk about the dev digital development. And we, this is a heartfelt, re um, let's say, request from the team of the Arab uh, Strategy for Digital Economy to join us. And we will be very happy in order to join and work together in order to promote this as well. We believe that this strategy will help not only in assisting in the digital economy perspective of, of governments and countries, but it will put the context of binding all related digital efforts and development efforts. And, uh, I would like also to mention that we in ESQA, we have uh, uh, in our uh, member Arab countries, we enjoy a very strong relationship with the League of Arab States. And we were very happy and honored that His Excellency, the Secretary General of the Arab League, yesterday mentioned this so clearly that ESQA has been playing a major role in that regard and specifically the Internet Governance Forum. Uh, we, uh, we, we believe that with the Arab League, um, we, have, um, uh, we have been working together for a long time. We especially think that this project of the Arab strategy for digital economy will form, will become a leading project, not only for a specific, uh, let's say, organization, but all 
international organizations working together, and we are very proud and very happy uh, to, for, this, for the organizers and for the United Arab Emirates to launch this together with the Arab League. Yeah. Well, to go back to the two, I missed mentioning that. I'm translating uh, briefly. Uh, the, um, the two major conferences, one is the Arab Internet Governance in June, and this has been uh, a very, uh, very widespread. So the digital economy could be a major part, one important part within this context. We would be very happy as ESQUA to support and even to uh, participate in a second conference, co-organize a second conference. And uh, this is an, an official, let's say, um, um, invitation to the leaders of this uh, strategy uh, in order to think together and work together on this. So we hope that somehow uh, the, you would participate in those two major conferences. Details of those will be present on the web and I'll be happy to communicate directly, officially, with anybody who would like to get more information about that. We issued a study, and um, back, uh, actually two years ago, we are updating this actually, and now it's under review, about the, un the concept of digital economy, and how it does, um, we're talking about the, basically the concept, not about the strategy of imp implementing it, because unfortunately we believe that there are many uh, Arab um, government uh, public officers who really need to be convinced and told about the importance of this. And this is where we believe that this strategy you are doing will be uh, very conclusive and will drive the, uh, let's say, those, uh, in those silent public officers in order really to uh, absorb the concept and, you know, board the train, adopt this, and work under their leadership in their governments. Again, finally, I'm concluding. I would like to thank again very much. This is a very, uh, we are looking very much forward to this strategy and to future cooperation. Thank you very much all. I appreciate that. That's Mr. Ayman Shervini.